we are actually checking in with two of the names that have been become synonymous uh, with the DHL Stormers over the years. First initially as players, and then later on they started running the show here. Had Smell and Robbie Fleck. Uh, my times, uh, and I don't know how many people know about it, but my times there was the B field, which is actually at the same place where the Sports Science uh, Institute is at the moment. And, uh, you know, it's, I can still remember the tough Monday sessions that we had. And, um, uh, and I don't know if it's uh, still like that with, at, uh, at Newlands, you know, when that, those malt fumes of the uh, breweries actually just came over you uh, quite often, you know. So especially when you're tired, um, you know, when you start smelling those malts, then you, f you even feel a little bit more tired. I mean, the first memories was the team of the 80s. So, you know, the greats like Fiat Small and Carl Duplessis, uh, Michael Duplessis, Fafa Kunitsa, um, you know, the famous team that won so many Curry Cups. Um, and it was, you know, sitting in the scholars. I remember my, we used to get our season tickets and it was a, like a purple little booklet. It was very different. Change rooms. Also, um, very basic, you know, it was just a kind of a, a benches, you know, four corners and everybody just sat in the four corners and then Darby's name and the coach at the time will just give his feedback and or analysis of the game on the previous uh, Saturday. I just remember when the final, you know, when it was five minutes to go, we would all line up along the fence waiting to run onto the field. You know, that, we actually didn't really worry about the results anymore. Now it was all about getting onto the field and trying to chase off to Coral Duplessis or a head smile or whatever and try and jump on them or tap them on the back. And those were, you know, my first memories of Mueller's. It was, was unbelievable. Uh, I can say it was also quite special, you know, if you want to go and score tries, especially on the South, south Stand. You know, it's, uh, then there's uh, some good clips of when Jorge van Jeden scored I think we played against Transvaal in the Curry Cup final, you know. And I watched that game. By how, how the people just sort of rush onto the, onto the field, They're actually getting sort of um, goosebumps here. It was an amazing experience. I remember myself and Bob Skinstead used to drive together from, from Cape Town and uh, we used to go to the pre-season and how excited we were, the fact that we were going to be training at, at Western Province Seniors and, and all these guys were there. And I remember walking into the change room and I, you know, I didn't know where to sit in the change room, but I sat down and I, you know, I started to put my boots on and all these players like looked at me and they were just sort of shaking their heads. And I thought, oh, well, you know, it's pretty typical because, you know, he has this little Ike, you know, walking into this thing and they think, you know, he's a little, um, you know, <laughs> whatever, trouble cause or whatever. But I remember being extremely nervous and I was putting on my boots and everyone was staring me and in walked Tian Strauss. And I thought, okay, well, he has a, he has a legend, he has a hero. And he just walked up and he looked straight at me. And like everyone just started to shake their head. And I, I didn't know what to say, but he just looked at me and said, that's my spot. Uh, but I must say, again, if I think about those, those tough sessions, because I was, I was a youngster at the time, of, fairly young, um, with Tian and Thanks, Kalk, and uh, we also just wanted to make our mark. So we had to train against um, Rob Lowe, um, Nick Mallet, and uh, Tian Stolberg, you know, so that was some of the best players, and we were quite privileged to train against them. And uh, that, of course, probably made us better players as well, but um, uh, those were tough sessions. Uh, but um, thinking back about it, you know, it was a great time. And I, I remember training there. Um incredibly tough sessions and um, Dr. Gerrit Poole was the, the backline coach and I remember he, he first training session he kicked me off the off the field basically said this IQ is not listening he must go hit the showers we'll see you tomorrow morning <laughs> and I remember when John de Villiers and Scott Berger were youngsters and Gerrit was the coach and Gerrit doesn't know about this but I'm going to tell him now but he Gerrit was the coach and that was in my last year. And we used to sneak off downstairs, back into the change room. And the three of us would have a sneaky little smoke in the change room and a beer. And then we'd rush up back into the, into the function. 
But and the three of us will never forget that, you know. No, I mean, it's maybe just end off by saying, you know, I think uh, Rob Wagner always said, you know, um, the old lady is tired. Um, because there's always a lot of uh, work that had to be done onto, on, on the stadium. But uh, I just want to say, you know, I really hope and pray that, um, you know, whatever they're going to build uh, on that piece of ground, that beautiful piece of ground, is that it reflects and represents the energy and the passion of the people over the time, you know, and make us all um, very proud of what they're going to build there. So I just hope it's, uh, it's something special.